several different colors of CDC. Now, you can tie this in a dark gray for a uh, whatever, whatever color is the same color as the CDC you're going to use. Okay. If you've got dark gray CDC, then use well, dark gray thread. Natural done, it says. So. Yeah, I'm going to use the clear monofilament. Because the color of the CDC is going to come right through. That'll be a slip. Uh, we can tie this together because it is so super simple. Every time I've heard of this fly, it's all been about being able to catch large fish. Now, the, I don't think these flies are very durable, but what they're used for is you, you go out fishing and you see these big fish and they're not hitting anything. They're coming up and they're rising and they're taking all kinds of flies. You don't, I mean, all kinds of stuff off the surface and you're throwing everything in your fly box at them and, they, and you can't get them to hit anything you're throwing. You think it's too big or too whatever. Basically, in most cases, it's going to be because they're hitting emergers. And this fly floats flush in the surface with a little bit of wing sticking out and looks just like an emerger and this is meant to take the very pickiest fish. All right. First thing you want to do is take the thread and go ahead and do it with me if you want. Take the thread and put a jam knot on there. In the middle, huh? No. You just put a jam knot on there, coat the whole shank, it doesn't really matter. Coat the whole shank. I would, I would probably coat the whole shank and maybe go down around the bend a little bit with it. I don't know. But uh, the way it looks is like they tie it just past, just when it starts to bend around the hook. Then go right back up to where the eye is. Okay? And leave about a hook, a hook eye and a half. Okay. Tie in your CDC. Now what you want to do is you want to tie in your CDC at a 90 degree angle. And you want to tie it in there fairly tight. Okay. Tie in your CDC. Yeah, you want it to, you want it to tie it in like you're going to tie in a hackle. Okay, you want to tie it in like a post or a ha or a hackle. Okay, and then what you want to do is you want to run your thread all the way to the back of the hook, right to where your your thread ends. All right. Then what you want to do is you want to take your your feather and gather up all the fibers that you can. Doesn't matter if it's sticking out all over the place. Just grab that and wrap it back all the way to the back of the hook. Just make a body out of it. Now I have to tell you that this is called the humpy version because it's tied like a humpy. Once you get to the very back end, take your thread and tie it off like that. You didn't twist. I didn't stuff. twist it. Okay. I just pinched the fibers together so that they were they were along the edge. Okay. Then you take your thread and you go back through and rib the body. Okay. Just rib the body. Oh, All right. Around. Yep. Right. And then all you have to do is pull that shuck all the way over the back, straight over the back, like a humpy. Are you all the way up to the eye now? Yep, all the way up to the eye. Put about three or four wraps at the back end of it. Put a few wraps in the front, and then whip finish it. And that's it. That's it? That's all it is. Now the fly that they show in there 
doesn't have all of these fibers sticking out all over the place. So if you want to, you can pick them out. But from what I understand, it doesn't matter. Do you, do you leave it fairly loose, the humpback? No. Okay. I just pull it tight all the way to the back. And if you look at the, uh, the picture, it's pulled tight also. All right. And if you want to, you can leave those sticking down there for legs, or you can just take your fingers and just kind of That's pluck it. them off. So that so that's a little so that they're just a little bit sticking out. You don't want you don't want the super long. But basically, you fish that as an emerger. The hook will drag it down in there. It'll sit with the wing just sitting up like this, and it'll look just like an emerger coming down. You can tie it in all different colors. You can tie it in olive or blue wing olive. You can pale put a done. pale yellow for a pale morning done. Uh, a gray for a calabatus.